Okay, everybody. There she is. How far I've got done so far. I've got my frame for the front end welded up and shaped out. Still got to grind the welds and stuff like that and do a little bit of trim work. But uh, I've got the hood rolled. You can see how, like I say, I want it to come back just at an angle right there to clear everything and meet the outside edge of the lawnmower. I can take this front grill off. And you can see more of my frame. Like I said, it's not the prettiest thing. I've still got to do some trim work. But right here, I wanted to show you. This is the original hood mountain bracket right here. And off of this grill, I welded a, a bar that comes straight back. And that way, I can bolt it to it. So if I needed to, I can unbolt it and take this whole front piece off. If I was to hit something, like I said, this stuff's real flimsy and thin. But that way I can take that whole piece off and fix it. And uh, another thing is, I was telling you about how I want everything to pinch together. Where I cut, well, let me get this hood off first. I haven't got anything on the hood yet, so it's just flimsy metal. You can see my lines, though, that I drew where my angle outline is going to go. But I cut. Like I said, this was the rear fenders on the original one, and I put them on the front. I cut this outside edge right here off where the two, where I told you those the two turning signals. I've cut them all off, and where I cut out, I just bent it straight down so I'd have that pinch. That way, everything will be tied together, and it just pinches up against it. And I'll drill, probably put one or two screws here to go through the the shell of the grill on the front and it all pinched together when it wraps around and that way everything will be a little bit sturdy because right now these are pretty flimsy but uh, I've got both my headlights they're ready and I found the clip that goes inside this wiring harness because the original headlights I think it's on this one it has this piece on it and it's the same as the wiring harness so I needed the piece that went inside of it but I found one out here in the yard like I said I deal a lot with lawnmowers you see it's still dirty I gotta clean it up but it's just a little quick update and the something I have decided to say like I said save myself some, some money I, I used this up the two seater but I'm thinking about doing the body, like the, the outside body in wood. And I really didn't want to, I wanted to do it in metal, but w what I really need is thicker metal and that's kind of expensive. So I'm thinking about getting me a piece of, I don't know, plyboard or something like that and uh, cut my shape out and then take that rubberized like undercoat that you can get in a, a tub or roll on for a truck bed and roll it on all sides of the wood so that it doesn't get wet. But uh, leave me some comments and stuff on that. Tell me what you think about the whole idea of wood. I really didn't want to use wood on it, but you know, to try to save myself some money, I'm, that's what I figured would probably be the best route to go. Uh, like I said, it is starting. I've got the wiring harness on. I've got to seat my tires, and I'll, I'll make a video on how I do that. I think you guys will like it. I don't know if anybody else has, but uh, I'll take spray paint, I get like clear coat or something, and I'll push this back and spray it up inside the seal, and then I'll hit it with a cigarette lighter, and when it hits it, it'll make a tire just poof, and push it up on that rim, and then you can blow it up the rest of the way to get your, your you know, what PSI you want to run your tires at. But uh, I'll make that video soon. I'm going to try to do the body first before I worry about my tires. I, I'm, what I'm trying to find is some old fuller tires to put on it. <coughs> my neighbor has a little 110 and he's got the same size rims as I've got on this. But, uh, like I said, hopefully he'll give me the uh, tires off of it and I'll have some nice tread pattern tires. 
And I got to do something about a gear shifter. Because, like I said, when I got this frame, it didn't have anything. So what I did was I took an old brake bar and bent it right here. This end had a hole. No, the other end. <coughs> this end already had a flat place with a hole. So I bent it to try to make it fit and then bend it forward and then back up so I'd have my gear shifter. And inside the transmission, I don't know if you can see it or not, right here, uh, I don't think there's enough light, but right here there's the piece that engages what gear you put it in and it pulls in and out. And that would be neutral, it was in drive. And then one more would be reverse. I can't get it to move any further. But yeah, uh, like I said, if I can find me a, a gear shifter for this, <coughs> it should be going. And in my last video of it running, you seen the smoke. And what that was was this motor was on a was on another frame that sat in a field, and the pulley is locked up on the bottom. So I had to cut the bottom of the engine bay a lot bigger so that the whole motor and pulleys would fit. And the, the pulley was extremely rusted and it was grabbing the belt. But I sanded all that and, and got my fuel line fixed. It was leaking a little bit. You can kind of see right here where it leaked. But that's it so far. I'll put this together so you can get one, la one last look at it again. <coughs> and I'm still on the cell phone so I gotta do everything one handed sorry it's a little shaky she's again <laughs> all right tell me what you think and like comment and subscribe and don't forget to tell me what you think about the wooden body and I'll try to get another video update on here as soon as I can all right thanks